Hey everyone, Tracy at Mystically Divine Tarot. How's everyone today? I hope you're all doing great. Welcome to the channel and welcome to today's pick a card reading. Today we will be asking Spirit, how does your twin flame feel about you? Okay, so how is your counterpart feeling about you at this time? Please remember to like this video and also to subscribe if you haven't already. I greatly appreciate it. Appreciate you all being here as well. Anyone interested in a private reading, there will be a link in the description box below and also at the end of each section of this video. Okay, these cards here for today's reading were pulled from the Wisdom of the Oracle deck. So for crystal number one, we have the Amethyst crystal. You guys must say, Tracy really loves Amethyst. I do. <laughs> Um, Amethyst and the Higher Power card. Okay, for crystal number two, we have Howlite crystal with the Happy Happy card. And for crystal number three, we have the Rose Quartz crystal. with the deep knowing card okay so choose which crystal or card resonates with you most keep in mind these are general readings so a lot of different messages and situations do come through not all messages will resonate for everyone take what fits in you with your intuition and leave the rest behind okay um, might, that message might not be for you. If it doesn't resonate with you, then it's probably not for you, okay? Also, keep in mind, if you're drawn to more than one, that is perfectly fine as well. You may have messages in more than one reading, okay? So choose which resonates with you most, and I will see you in your reading. If you resonated with crystal number one, the amethyst crystal, and the higher power card this will be your reading okay let me just put this one over here so with this card um your person is really tapped in at this time and really has a deep inner knowing about you um they feel like you're their person uh, they see that you've spent a lot of time also working on yourself and really rising in your own power so they see you as extremely powerful as well okay so let's see what the tarot has to say for crystal number one how does their twin flame feel about them please for crystal number one how does their twin flame feel two of wands Ooh, planning next step so they could be um making some sort of decision planning next steps with this connection looking at the possibilities of the future very nice something about geography here too location um with this he's pointing to a location here i feel um on this beach so i feel like it has to do with a location near water possibly for some of you Mm, four of cups so feeling like there were missed opportunities in the past someone feeling like they missed opportunities this could be that push to not miss another one mm. after a period of introspection so someone going inward and really yeah feeling like they were really tapped in so maybe they weren't so tapped into their inner knowing before and maybe they feel like they've missed opportunities with you. Let's see what else for crystal number one. How does their twin flame feel? Chariot. Yeah, they're wanting to come forward now. They're choosing that direction. They are definitely making some sort of choice about movement. Planning some sort of next step. Communicating this to you as well. Feeling very inner, like peaceful, inner calm. Um... So they could have been someone who struggled in the past, for some of you, uh, struggled in the past with um, anxiety is what I'm getting with this temperance card. They've reached a level of peace and harmony within. Also you, they feel like they see you 
again, that you've put in all this work and that you've really risen in your own power and that you're very peaceful and calm about things. Um, and they're wanting to communicate something here as well. Eight of Wands is about back and forth communication, incoming, fast communication, lots of communication. Um, so they're wanting to communicate more back and forth. Both of you together communicate maybe about this plan here, whatever this plan is. Two of Wands, let's see. What is this? Three of Pentacles wanting to work together, yeah. That's why they're wanting to communicate. They're wanting to work together with you to plan some sort of next step. They're wanting to build with you. For, ooh, yeah, see, they missed that opportunity to be together, this deep love. Someone in regret, a little bit in regret there, okay, with that Four of Cups. Uh, regretting losing an opportunity in the past, you know, missing some sort of opportunity for forward movement. This is a deep soul bond. They're feeling this deep love within. Chariot, let's see what else. Oh yeah, look at this. Rushing right toward wish fulfillment. Love this energy, okay? Nine of Cups, you make their wishes come true. And now they're not wanting to miss another opportunity here. They're really wanting to move forward. Let's see what else. Eight of Wands, Temperance. Three of Cups. So they're wanting to celebrate. They're wanting to plan something worth celebrating. They're wanting to third party. For some of you, there's a third party as well. They're wanting to plan something um, worth celebrating. So meaning your connection, I feel like they feel like the love between you is worth celebration um, with that message there. Third party, as I'm touching this, I kind of got pulled to that. So for some of you, there could be another person involved or maybe was involved in the past. Uh, temperance coming through. So maybe this was something you've been waiting for to hear from this person about this situation or something like that, okay? Yeah, they could be communicating something about that to you. Okay, let's see what else for crystal number one. Let's get some oracle messages out here. Oops, we have like three of them. <laughs> okay, we have three. And Foxfire on the bottom too. Feeling very passionate about you. Threshold, you're right on the... Hmm. Whoa. Really? Growth? <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. Okay. So we had like four or three or four that flew out and now I'm told to take these as well. So we're going to go through these first. We have tending the future. So yeah, that's that forward movement working together. Okay. Tending to some sort of a plan, a next step, threefold protection. So protecting yourself, protecting this person, protecting you. Uh, they feel very protective of you and also feeling um universe supporting you as well with that card, protecting the connection. Wow. Creation of light. Beautiful. These are the three that flew out together. So this change or this tending the future is going to make things so much lighter, brighter, happier. Okay. Wish fulfillment. I mean, it's beautiful. And then at the bottom of the deck, we had in this order, Foxfire. So there is a lot of passion um, that they're feeling for you as well. Um, they're very protective of you because you're very important to this person threshold. So there are things about to shift and change. Okay. I definitely feel this here is big. This plan, um, moving forward quickly communication. So there's a lot going on and growth. So they do feel like together you can grow, um, into this love together that's worth celebrating okay with that three of cups and they're wanting to celebrate that they're wanting to really um put it on the top of their priority list here is what i'm feeling with that card they've seen the growth within you as well but this person has also grown a lot as well Mm, very nice. Okay, let's see what else with the oracle here. 
for crystal number one sacred union ah that's why foxfire came out yeah sacred union there is a lot of passion and there's a desire to be together uh physically intimate here sacred union honor and treasure your relationship for it's truly sacred they're honoring your heart here as well okay not only your body your mind and your heart as well they're honoring you in every way um so wow very very beautiful energy there and they're feeling like it is the sacred union that it is, okay? Um, so they are feeling, we have two again, um, We they are feeling uh, that this is special, okay? We have guardian, oh yeah, definitely guardian again, wow, they are very protective of you, okay? Very much wanting to, I'm going to put it right here because that's where the threefold protection is. Mm, they're very protective of you, Um they want to make sure they keep you safe mm, tending the garden oh again that's another card same ones that came out tending the garden so yeah this is definitely a very powerful energy that they're feeling right now is tending this future very nice two energies of that coming through as well so further confirmation let's see what else for crystal number one how does their twin flame feel at this time Oh, these cards keep flying out like there's so many of them too. Oh my, there's four here as well. Believe in your good luck. So they're feeling pretty lucky at this time, okay? They're feeling like things are starting to go well. Things are going their way. They're getting ready to step up and lead. Take the lead in this connection. Really move things forward. Okay, now these two are together. For some of you, that someone here is having to, they're feeling like they're having to breathe through the tension. So they might be facing some sort of tense situation in their current life or at this moment, okay? That they're having to kind of back up and breathe, okay? And kind of bring themselves back to calm because with that temperance card, they I feel like they've reached that level of calm. When tension arises, they're still calm. Calm is not a weakness, Okay, so that's a good sign as well that they've really done a lot of that inner work. Let's see what else for crystal number one. Turn away and re-energize. Re Aha, and dreaming. Okay, so turn away, re-energize. You're getting a lot of cards here, crystal number one. A lot of cards flying out for you. Turn away, re-energize, and, and dreaming so turn away i definitely feel is for whoever here might be dealing with a third party and it might not be a third party love situation okay it could be something else keep that in mind okay it's not always a romantic relationship that someone is turning away from could be their family could be a job that's keeping them stuck in a low vibration you know it could be a lot of different things re-energize so yes they're definitely wanting to re-energize this connection and move it forward and they are dreaming about you a lot. Mm, very nice. So having a lot of dreams. Chop wood, putting in the work. Absolutely. So the work is being put in. And I feel like for some of you, this is going to be work done together with this chop wood. Okay. They're wanting to work together. They're wanting to plan something for the future tend that future so i feel like this could be work together as well they're really feeling that you know desire to work together with you to create you know something beautiful look at this woman holding a coin jumped out man holding a coin at the bottom <laughs> okay so amazing yes they are wanting to again work on this stability together okay 42 and 43 coming through there could be an age for some of you okay so they are wanting to work together and build something stable long term very nice they're feeling this pull to do so let's see what else how does crystal number one's twin flame feel about them right now please <laughs> this card it, it's presenting at the bottom of the deck <laughs> and it com it's coming out so so much lately union energy is so prevalent right now you are limitless and the union of hearts yeah so 
This is about wanting togetherness. The lover's card is a deep, powerful love. And this is, they feel they want to be with you. They want to be next to you. They want to be in a relationship, connected. This connection defies explanation, the card says, okay? And you are limitless. So they're feeling, again, with that higher power, right? They're tapped in. They're realizing that they're creating their own reality with their thoughts, okay? Uh, twin flame here. We have a sign of twin flames on this card as well. Spirit does tend to send cards through to confirm if you are questioning whether or not this is your twin flame. Um, even though it's a twin flame reading, um, these messages could be for someone that could have possibly been doubting that, okay? Um, there are two swans there, which is a sign of twin flames. And realizing that they're, they're limitless. So this person has really risen in their own power as well. Okay, and they definitely feel like you have as well. Beautiful. Let's get more. Get one of these, and then I do want to get you some message cards from your person as well. Empowered. Yes, loving it. Yes, they're feeling very empowered. They're feeling, again, step up and lead. This is like emperor energy, okay? This is divine masculine Okay, it could be divine feminine as well, empowered. I feel like both of you here have both risen in your own power. So, but they are feeling very empowered, okay? Which is a good sign that they have healed and, you know, they're ready to take steps for themselves, okay? Beautiful energy there. Let's get some message cards. We'll get some mystically divine messages today. And these are available on the website. I never really say that. And someone asked me in a comment the other day. And I'm like, wow, I never really even promote my own decks. But if you guys go to the website, you probably see them. But I do have seven decks available there on the website. So if you want to check them out at some point, feel free. What else does Crystal, well, what else? We haven't even gotten one yet. Thank you for blessing me with your love. So yeah, they're feeling very blessed to have you. Okay, very, very grateful. So this is beautiful. That's a beautiful loving energy to be in. I wanna share my life with you. Oh, definitely. Yeah, they're wanting to celebrate uh, something here as well. Could be even wanting proposal, like uh, wanting to propo uh, propose, I can't speak. I was trying to talk too fast. I do talk kind of fast. I'm from New England and I, I've always talked fast. So <laughs> um, I do try to slow down sometimes, but um, they are wanting to propose, okay? Uh, for some of you, they may want to propose. That could be what they're wanting to celebrate this love, okay? With that, I want to share my life with you card. Because they know that you're the one for them. You know, they, they, they have this knowing they're so tapped in to what they're feeling inside now what else would crystal number one's twin flame like to say to them at this time Woo. we got two we have i am hopelessly devoted to you absolutely yeah your twin flame is always devoted at the heart space to you i want to be with you forever infinity symbol there as well Yep, definitely wanting the physical long-term relationship with you as well. It took all I had to stay away from you. Mm, so yeah, when they weren't with you, it took all every ounce of energy in them to stay away. It's not easy for um, if you're a divine feminine for divine masculine to stay away or vice versa. My passion and desire for you is burning hot. Absolutely. They're definitely wanting to be with you physically. Dreaming. Mm -hmm. Having sexual fantasies. <laughs> Not really fan. Well, they are probably having fantasies as well, but you might be connecting very heavily in the 5D here as well. Feeling that sexual energy from them. I'm sorry if I hurt you, but that was never my intention. Okay. Your twin flame never wants to hurt you. Okay. Never. Anything that you see in the 3D is never meant to intentionally hurt you, okay? You are so important to me, absolutely. 
So you are very important to your twin flame. Your twin flame always loves you. Always. And they're always devoted to you. Hopelessly devoted to you as well. Even if the card didn't come through, that is a true statement. But your twin flame wanting you to know that for sure, okay? All right, crystal number one, that is what I have for you for today. I really hope that this reading was helpful. Please give it a like and remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next reading. If you resonated with crystal number two, the how light crystal and the happy happy card this will be a reading okay crystal number two so today we're asking spirit how does your twin flame feel about you and this card came through as the thought of them the thought of you rather makes them extremely happy joyful blissful they're daydreaming about a future with you so there's a lot of good loving energy positive energy coming through um, that they're feeling toward you here. So let's see. Actually, I'm going to move this over here. I keep forgetting. <laughs> Trying to save more room so you can see the cards more easily. Let's see with the tarot. For crystal number two, how does their twin flame feel about them? Please, we have seven of wands. So they're very protective of you. Um, wanting to keep you safe. You always feel safe in their energy. Mm, they stand up for you if needed. Really has your back. What else? Their twin flame. How do they feel about crystal number two? Two of cups. Yeah, so, ooh, reunion. So, yeah, wanting union. Wow. You do make them extremely happy. They're wanting to commit. Mm. They're feeling that deep, unconditional love. Two of cups is a beautiful love offer could be definitely wanting with commitment coming through and this card showing um, a couple's hands joining in marriage so really looking toward the future very nice union energy coming through already very very prevalent in the collective right now six of cups wow mm. there's your past life connection they're feeling a little bit nostalgic here mm, could be thinking about past situations that you've shared nice recapturing the magic Ooh, that's a nice message recapturing the magic six of pentacles beautiful wanting to reciprocate so they may have been um non-reciprocal at some point they're wanting to here with this card and wanting to makes me feel like they haven't been in the past queen of pentacles yeah so they're protecting you they wanting to take care of you queen of pentacles they do feel like you are very strong and stable in yourself but they still want to provide they want to be there and be your um your strength as well when you need someone you know they want to be that shoulder to lean on when you need someone but they realize that you're very strong and powerful in yourself and that you don't need anyone, but everyone needs someone sometimes, you know? And I feel like that's what this message is saying here, that they feel like when you do need someone in your life, they want to be the one there for you. Ooh, so they're making some sort of a decision here to come forward with this union, some sort of love offer. So a decision here, they could have been overthinking it at some point. I mm, feel like they've overcome that, though, with the happy, happy card in the beginning. They're starting to really um, be optimistic about this instead of maybe pessimistic. What else for crystal number two? Recapturing the magic. That was a beautiful message there. Six of Cups. Ace of Cups. Wow, beautiful. So yeah, this is beautiful new relationship starting. And this is in the physical world. Um, I'm feeling this is definitely, energetically, they definitely feel all of this, okay? Um, they're definitely feeling that beautiful love energy just kind of overflowing in their heart with this Ace of Cups. Um, but this is about wanting a new relationship to beginning, feeling that bliss, okay? Uh, feeling that oneness, wanting to recapture that magic and 
you know, really come together in union here, physical union, okay, is what I'm getting there. So six of pentacles, they're wanting to reciprocate. So for some of you, they may have not reciprocated your energy in the past. They could have pulled away at some point um, completely even, okay? Six of pentacles, wanting to give equally. What do we got here? We have death and three, ooh, death and three of pentacles, yeah. Could be other people involved with this, okay? Um, could be working with other people as well to end something in their life. Um, but for some of you, it could be ending something with someone else as well. With the death card coming through and the three of pentacles, ending this can, you know, open up the possibility to be reciprocal uh, toward you, toward the love that they're feeling. So for some of you, your counterpart has something ending. That might not be for all of you, but for some of you, definitely coming through here. Let's see what else. I did end up getting like a bunch of these <laughs> that flew out for crystal number one. So I am going to get more than one for you as well. Beauty of age. So they see you as extremely beautiful. Again, rising in your own power, very strong, stable in yourself. Feeling like you're the empress, that you're born with a gift. They're seeing, now they're all falling out for you too. <laughs> okay, that's perfect, perfect, perfect. We have a bunch. Okay, how many? One, two, three, four, five. We need one more actually. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we'll take that one. The bottom of the deck, transcendence. Because I got, I think, six for the other crystal. They flew out and then the bottom of the deck. And I was like, okay, I'm going to get more for everyone here. So follow the signs. Card 44. Um, so they're getting a lot of signs and synchronicities pointing them in the right direction. Helping them to make decisions, okay? They're watching and listening carefully. So they're paying close attention to you even if you don't think they are. Ah, for some of you, you might not. Mm, look at this. Some of you, you might not even think they're paying attention to you at all. But they're really, they really are from a distance watching you, listening carefully to what's going on about you, about your life. To dance with joy, feeling very joyful. Yes, absolutely feeling that on the first card there. Mm, they feel that you're born with a gift. So your intuition is very strong and they know that you know. They just know that you know. It's like I'm hearing, you know that I love you. You know, it's like you just know deep within. And for some of you, transcendence. Yeah, on the bottom of the deck, that one really popped out to me when I needed one more. Um, I feel like that's overcoming obstacles, okay? So they're feeling very strong and stable to do that right now, okay? Very nice. All right, let's get more here for crystal number two. How is their twin flame feeling about them at this time? How is crystal number two's twin flame feeling about them at this time? There we go. We have two as well. Oops. Ah, dropping things. So the first one here is this beautiful dove. A new beginning, a new beginning, a new adventure and beginning awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. Ooh, ready to embrace this new beginning. Beautiful. And then we have this beautiful card here as well. A couple together. Yeah, see? Soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. Okay, keep in mind, not all twin flames know the label of twin flame doesn't matter that this says soulmate okay if you know deep within like they feel you do know that they love you very much and that this is your twin flame then they feel the same thing is what this card is saying okay and they're believing in it now believe this and they will manifest physically very important message there so they're believing in this love in this connection Okay, beautiful. Love it, love it, love it. All right, let's see what else for crystal number two. We have one. I'm going to get one more because we did get extras for the other crystal. Yeah, maybe one more here. 
Okay, generosity and unique. Yeah, so they are wanting to give to you. Like I said, they want to provide, they want to take care of you and unique. Okay, let me show you them first. They're so beautiful. Unique and generosity. So they are feeling that this is extremely special. Okay, this connection is beautiful and special. And they are wanting to give and provide and be that strength. You know, combine your strengths and just be powerful. Okay, together. Beautiful. Mm. Power couple. All right, let's get one of these as well for crystal number two. How does their twin flame feel about them? Thank you. Make time for self-love. Yeah, they see that you are very self-loving, okay? This is beautiful. You know why? Because when you love yourself, you magnetize them to you. When you choose you, when you take good care of yourself and you worry about your own life and what's inside of you instead of other people or other things or what's going on around you, and you've got this inner calm about you, this strength, this stability, so they're really being drawn to you through your own self-love. Very nice. Let's see what else. We have one. I'm going to get another one. I think I got two. I don't remember how many. They just kept flying out for crystal number one. So I'm going to get one more though. I think there was at least two of these. There we go. We have inner knowing and memories. Mm, yeah, definitely. What was it here, right? Yeah, recapturing that magic. So they're looking at photos as well. So keeping their eye on you for those that think that they're not. They definitely are paying close attention to you. Could be dreaming as well. And they do have a deep inner knowing just like you do about this love and this connection. Okay, so they do feel it just as deeply. Let's get one of these as well for crystal number two. What, how, not what, how does crystal number two's twin flame feel about them, please? This is beautiful. How does Chris peace beautiful? You know what's really funny about that is I'm 99% positive as I was putting away crystal number one, I noticed that card on the bottom of the deck but I wasn't thinking that it was going to come out for you. I just happened to notice it and I thought, wow, cool. Um, I want to say it was for crystal number one or it was, it could have been another reading too, but I remember noticing it today at the bottom of this deck and here it is. This is beautiful. You bring them that peace, happiness, joy, you know, you really do make them feel amazing. So they feel wonderful. Uh, again, even thinking about you was what came through in the beginning. Just thinking about you makes them feel beautiful, wonderful, loved, happy, joyful, you know. Very, very nice energy between you here. What else for crystal number two? Woman holding a coin. They do see you as that stable force, like I said. They feel that you are self-sufficient, that you take good care of yourself and that you have, you have it going on. Okay. You got it going on. You are rising in your own power. Okay. Very, very strong, powerful feminine energy here. Okay. Like standing in your own power and, you know, but still being that soft, beautiful, nurturing woman. Okay. Uh, it doesn't have to be a woman though. Remember feminine, feminine energy. So that feminine energy, a very strong, powerful, nurturing energy as well, right? So they do feel that from you and they really respect that about you as well. Very nice. It doesn't have to be a woman. As I said, it's about the energy, not gender, but this is just a woman in the card. <laughs> so, um, but it is a feminine energy that's very strong, powerful. Okay, let's get one of these and I want to get you some message cards too. Oh, I got one more and then message cards. Love makes the difference. Yes, the love that you have provided this person has helped them to heal. Hmm. 
So they needed healing and that self-worth. Some of them had self-worth issues, trust issues. Yeah, okay, so self-worth and trust coming through. So for some of you, your person struggled with that in the past, okay? And your love really helped them to see that there was no need for that with you, okay? That those were things from their past that other people projected onto them and they took on that wounding and they 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 suppressed it inside and they just thought that you know they couldn't trust anyone or you know that they weren't worthy of this love could have been things that were said to them but your love helped them to heal to go inward and get to the root of why they were feeling that way hmm very nice so I feel like this person is very grateful and thankful to have even met you. We got two here. We have, ooh, empowered again. Nice. Okay. And passion. I love this. Okay. So again, very empowered. They feel you're very empowered. And I also feel that they're feeling very empowered to make change in their life. Okay. And passion. They're feeling that desire very much a very strong desire to be with you. Okay. Be next to you. Mm, very, very nice. So let's get some message cards from the mystically divine messages deck and i did realize that i don't really even let you guys know but if you are interested in any decks that i have created they are available on my website i have seven decks on there and i never even mention it but someone asked about it the other day and i was like you know i never really mention those in my videos anymore i used to i think a while ago but anyway this deck here is one of my created decks, the Royal Romance Tarot, if you're interested in that deck there. All right, let's get more here. Some message cards, please, for crystal number two from their twin flame. Message cards for crystal number two. What would their twin flame like to say to them today, please? Mm, keep thinking they're going to pop out and then they go back in. I, oh, ah, see, I told you. I always check your social media and pray you haven't moved on from me. So for some of you who are doubting that they're paying any attention to you at all, they definitely do. They pay close attention. looking at social media pictures and things like that as well what other messages please for crystal number two from their twin flame Ooh, there we go my feelings for you are so strong yeah they're very very strong powerful love feelings that they are feeling for you I will be honored to share my last name with you. Ah, see that marriage commitment that was coming through on that two of cups. I will be honored to share my last name with you suggests that they definitely are looking for possibly, you know, marriage in the future in the physical world, right? Commitment coming through on this one as well. Or was it? I don't remember if it was that one, but it did come through the commitment. No one makes me feel the way you do. Yeah, this is special, unique, different. They know it. They feel it. They've never felt this strongly before. I have so many things I want to say. Wow. So for some of you, they haven't really spoken a lot of these truths to you that they want to say. Um, yeah, a lot to talk about. I feel like those are hidden feelings for someone here with that card. I love you with every fiber of my being. Yeah. Hello. That's the depth, right? The depth of this love. Beautiful. Coursing through every fiber of their being. Beautiful. 
I reread our messages all the time. So I feel like at times this person does like really miss you um, to the point where they're kind of feeling like if I read your messages, you're right here with me. Um, really feeling like they connect to you. Well, that was weird. <laughs> Spirit affecting technology in my room here in my studio room. My The TV in the room just kind of clicked on. <laughs> I fantasize about what, and now it clicked off. That's weird. I fantasize about what our life would be like being together. Yeah, definitely was feeling that as well. Fantasies, dreams, right? So, wow, yeah. They are thinking about you all the time, even when they're not with you. Your twin flame loves you at the core, okay? No, they, they love you no matter what. Even though their 3D self might not be with you at this time, they do love you at the core. All right, crystal number two. Well, that is what I have for you for today. I really hope that this reading was helpful. Please give it a like and remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next reading. If you resonated with crystal number three, the rose quartz crystal... And the deep knowing card, this will be your reading, okay? Crystal number three. So with this card here, they know, okay, that you are the one. They know that you're, they might not know the term twin flame, but they definitely know that you're the one for them. Their intuition is very strong at this time. They're also wanting to communicate something to you as well is what I'm picking up there, okay, with that card. So let's see what else we have for crystal number three with the tarot. How does crystal number three's twin flame feel about them at this time, please? How does crystal number three's twin flame feel about them at this time? How does crystal number three's twin flame, there we go. I think we have a flipper. We have ace of pentacles and let me just see a six of cups and a wheel of fortune. Okay, I knew we had flippers in there. So the Ace of Pentacles flying out first and these two flipping over at the same time. So wow, big energy coming through together. Ace of Pentacles is a new start in the physical. So they are feeling that pull to, they're feeling the opportunity is here and now. Yeah, they're feeling that pull because they're feeling it here and now. See, here's that Six of Cups energy. They already know. They know that you, you've shared past lives together, that you have a deep soul bond. Okay, they're feeling a little bit nostalgic at this time as well coming through. Always keep in mind these are general readings as well. So for some of you, um, if the message doesn't resonate, just leave it behind. And Wheel of Fortune, things moving forward. So they are feeling that pull to move forward. They want this new start. They're feeling like this is fate and destiny. Okay. Um, the universe also could be shifting things into place with this card as well, okay? Creating opportunities. Mm. All right, that one kind of got left behind when I picked up the deck, but if it needs to come out, it will come out. It was the Seven of Cups. It was on the bottom of the deck, and when I picked it up, it stood behind, and I was like, hmm. So I looked at it, but... I don't know. I don't know if it's relevant here. We will see, though. If it's meant to come out, it will. Queen of Swords, Hierophant. Wow. So we have, wow, big energy here. Strong, empowered. So I feel like, and they're wanting commitment as well. Learned a lot of lessons. Yeah. So for some of you, they learned a lot of lessons. They're wanting commitment. They know, they know better now is what's coming through. So whatever that means, could be that they were um, in the past maybe not realizing what steps they needed to take or a path ahead or something. Queen of Swords, I feel like you have really stood in your own power and really like set healthy boundaries with them and, you know, really kind of woke them up to more by you know, empowering yourself and really healing yourself. You've really helped them to heal as well. Mm. They see you as this very strong, powerful force in their life. They look up to you and respect you. 
How else are they feeling? Ace of Pentacles. Any more on that Queen of Swords? No, I guess not. I don't know. It stopped, so I guess so. Um, but they do. They respect you. They highly respect you. They see you as strong, fierce, bold. Wheel of Fortune is uh, moving forward. Devil energy coming through as well. Um, I feel like they are like really that your temptation um, is what I'm getting with this. There's a very seductive type of energy coming through on this card. Yeah, so I feel Ace of Pentacles. They may be really wanting to come together physically here. Uh, feeling that desire pretty strongly um, to take this opportunity the opportunity is here and now and this is a big offer a big seed being planted so I feel like it could have to do with physical intimacy for you too as well it could be the next step or something like that um, for some of you but they're feeling it's it's almost like you are just super attractive to them they're like magnetized to you they like they I almost feel this feeling like they just can't stay away like you know what I mean by that they're feeling like I need to get to crystal number three like now you know it's it's a really powerful um desire to get to you six of cups ten of swords end full end of a painful cycle from the past Hmm. feeling nostalgic okay so they could be looking back at past relationships there hmm and ending a painful cycle so they might have healed from something from the past recently okay it doesn't mean that it was in their recent past but recently they may have overcome and they might have been in anxiety about something from the past and now they're ending that cycle they're leaving that past behind okay so that is good wheel of fortune moving forward divine helping out here is what i'm feeling whoa what do we have here we have three of wands and the tower and the ten of pentacles okay so we have the three of wands next steps okay something you've been waiting for something ending could be this painful cycle whatever this is okay and starting uh, you know endings bring new beginnings and look at the new beginning ten of pentacles wow this is beautiful energy okay um so this forward movement could be really big okay the ten of pentacles is the happily ever after this is abundance you know prosperity wealth love abundance of all of the things okay togetherness marriage financial security mm, so really they see a big bright future here okay is what i'm feeling and they're wanting to take next steps and as someone for someone here it was something you've been waiting for coming through as well could be this ending to bring the new beginning can you see those yeah i think so <laughs> All right, so let's see. Big energy, though. They're feeling the pull to start something big here. Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles is huge. And this is in the physical world as well, okay? Queen of Swords, Hierophant. So they learned their lesson. Oh. They learned their lesson and this one flew out. Okay, so at some points, okay, this is a couple different messages coming through. This person dealt with someone in their life that was extremely distant from them. Could have been a parent caretaker relationship, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, whatever. They felt this distance from this person and always kind of blamed themselves is what I'm getting here. Okay. Could have been something they had to heal. All right. Could have been something they had to heal. For others, this is them being distant from you and they learn their lesson. Now they know that that is not the way to be. They need to be honest, authentic, and expressive. Mm. Communication on that first card. Mm. So they may be wanting to communicate. 
okay, if they weren't, okay, because learning their lesson with that Hierophant card was big. There's some sort of lesson that they learned about distance, okay? You know, maybe they realized that what they were doing to you, in essence, not that they were doing it on purpose. Your twin flame will never try to hurt you. It is their wounding that hurts you, okay? And it's not making excuses for them because it is their responsibility to heal that. However, it something that was done to them in the past, it's, it's like conditioned into them, right? That this is how, this is normal. This is how it's supposed to be kind of thing, right? Till they heal that, they can, as they're healing it, they can see how that made them feel. And then they have that, woo aha moment, okay? So I feel like someone here has had an aha for some of you, your, your person, okay? About, and healed that part of themselves, okay? Now these, I'm going to get a few out because I did for, wow, yeah, big message here, beautiful. Um, because a lot came out for crystal number one. So I decided um, that maybe I needed to get more for all of you. Uh, so the first one out is a beautiful card for anyone out there that may be doubting that this is your twin flame, okay? Immortality. Spirit does send these through to help. If your intuition is telling you that this is your twin flame and this is your person and then your mind is taking over and your ego is telling you otherwise... So your mind is trying to trick you into thinking that you're crazy or that, you know, what you're feeling isn't real and that this person doesn't love you or they would be with you and all of those things. Those things are fear, okay? And it can cause doubt. So if you were doubting that your twin flame is this person, this immortality card is telling you to follow your intuition on it, okay? Okay. Because that is a symbol of your twin flame coming through here as well. And it's card number 22 as well. So for some of you, that may be relevant. We have two more. So we have sunlight after darkness. Ooh, card number 11. Another indication there. Okay, sunlight after darkness. So they're feeling that this darkness is in the past. And it's time to be happier, lighter, in higher vibrational energy beauty of age they are extremely attracted to you they think you're extremely beautiful powerful loving okay and they feel that love we have the noble one and we have three one two three one two three yeah that's how many i got was like six i think for the others so we have the noble one so wanting to do the right thing by you okay they really they really respect you and want to do the right thing by you beneath the surface for some of you they haven't shared all of their feelings with you okay they may have some feelings still lingering below the surface that want to come out in the golden moment so it is time right feeling like this is the time another indication of that so they feel like the opportunity is now. Okay, what is crystal number three's twin flame? How do they feel about crystal number three, please? So they are feeling the depth and the longevity of this connection as well with immortality. They are knowing that this is meant to be, that this is a forever eternal bond. So they're feeling that same soul bond to you that you're feeling to them okay we have whoops i think we have two yes we do which is fine because i was going to get two anyway so we have first sacred union yeah so they really are they're being pulled in for sure they're wanting that union with you honor and treasure your relationship for it's truly sacred okay another sacred bond okay they feel it and then we have this one here as well. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. Yeah. What did I say before the 10 was the 9, anxiety. Now they've allowed themselves to let go of those negative thoughts and end that painful cycle. And now they're able to move forward. 
creating new possibilities for themselves and this connection. So beautiful. How does crystal number two, no, not two, three. How does crystal number three's person, twin flame, feel about them, please? And I got two of these for the others as well. So we're going to get two for you. We have flow and play. Nice. Okay. So they are feeling very playful. They're wanting to enjoy time with you. Spend time uh, going on adventures, walks, someone liking to walk with you, flow, feeling that flow energy. So really tapped into universal flow. This is good that they're feeling that. They're feeling that trust that faith in the universe and they're kind of going with the flow of things so that is a really good energy they could also feel like you're in flow energy as well and that you're very playful they love your energy joyful happy go lucky mm, they really see you as someone that really is a beautiful force in this world take a breather hmm so I feel like they have to kind of calm themselves down with this uh, they feel a little bit amped up right when in your energy they get very excitable hmm yeah when they even think about you they get like super excited I feel like they have to kind of calm down a little bit and bring themselves back to level balance their energy out They're definitely wanting to build feelings. Yeah, there's definitely feelings of love at the bottom. And you've given them hope as well. And they're dreaming about you. Nice. Dreaming of the future. Okay. <laughs> Any more? <laughs> Spirit just keeping on giving them to me there. Okay. So they do have deep feelings. Okay. For you, for some of you, they are beneath the surface. Okay. They're not, they haven't spoken them yet. But I feel like with that communication coming through, they may want to. Um, they have deep love feelings, okay? So they feel that deep love. You've given them hope for the future is what came through there. They dream about you all the time with dreaming, okay? And I feel like that's both day and night dreaming. Actually, at the bottom of this deck, I want to say it says imagination. Nope, it doesn't. It says paradox, okay? Maybe that was another... Oh, there it is. Imagination. Ah, I knew I seen it. I It might have been... Right as I was putting the deck away, it might have been um, poking out there from behind the Paradox card. But I knew I seen Imagination. Um, I, that's probably why I didn't take it. It wasn't on the bottom of the deck. It was close. Uh, dreaming, though. Definitely feeling like they're imagining. Okay. And the future. Spirit wanted me to take this one as well. So dreaming of that future. So they're in their imagination about you. They're in their imagination about the future. Dreaming of the possibilities. Okay. Okay. Uh, Ten of Pentacles, wanting to build something big, solid, okay? So this is beautiful. I feel like this person has done a lot of the inner work. Especially with that Ten of Swords coming out. I feel like they've ended a very painful cycle and learned their lesson with that Hierophant card. Look at this card. Oh my goodness, this message already came through beautifully. And we have the Fates as well. Um, here and now the time look at this triple synchronistic because it came through on the golden moment as well the time is now leaving the past behind and moving to the future okay and feeling like it's very faded so they do know that this is a powerful eternal bond that you share they feel it too oh that was fast <laughs> Victory. Yes, they feel this victory. Everything is, is going to happen. I feel quickly with this card as well. Things are going to shift and change for the better very quickly um, in this connection. Once things start to move with this Wheel of Fortune, it's going to just keep on moving and get better and better and better and better and better. Because momentum. Okay. We have two back to what you love so they want to get back to you right what did I feel here they're trying they they really oh and look at this what did I just say momentum right um yeah they really oops they really do want to get back to you here um feeling that 
immense pull, okay? And like attracts like, what did I just say, right? Momentum? Yeah, they have momentum in the right direction. If you long for more love, be more loving, right? So they wanting to be more loving to attract that love to them. I feel like you're doing the same with this card, okay? You're being more loving and you're magnetizing this love to you. Very nice. Okay, let's see what else. Crystal number three, how does their twin flame feel about them, please? And then I am getting you some message cards. Breakup, okay. So for some of you, this painful cycle, uh, the lesson learned, whatever distance here, there may have been a breakup that they were getting over, okay? Like I said, it could have been a past relationship that they were dealing with that, right? So whatever, or this could be that they are currently going through a breakup as well leaving the past behind here and now leaving the past behind ending a painful cycle lessons learned yeah so it definitely could be for some of you with all of those messages coming back through just now that they are going through this um and coming out the other side feeling lighter you know sunlight after darkness right so for some of you and that might only be relevant to some but definitely coming through here for someone. All right, now we're going to get some message cards for crystal number three. What would their twin flame like to say to them right now? Crystal number three. You make me feel so young and alive. Mm, so very happy and joyful in your energy, okay? Young, alive, vibrant, okay? Okay. These these cards here are from the Mystically Divine Messages deck, which I did mention in both other readings. I do have seven decks available on my website, and I, I realized the other day when someone asked me in a comment that I never really even mentioned that. So yeah, there are seven decks that I have created. This tarot deck here is one of them as well, Royal Romance Tarot, um, all available on my website. No one makes me feel the way you do. So you make them feel extremely special. Okay, you don't you don't show up like other people did in their life. You show up more. Okay, you show them more love. Very nice. What else for crystal number three? I want to live my truth with you. Yeah, see, there it is. They're wanting to live their truth. They're wanting to speak that truth and live happily authentically i feel like we are on top of the world when we're together yeah it's, this is beautiful this connection is absolutely beautiful so you make them feel amazing i love you with every fiber of my being wow yeah so very powerful connection here they're feeling it uh, with every fiber of their being. So that is beautiful. They feel the, the power behind it. I will always love you. Mm, yeah, your twin flame always loves you. Okay, always. Even when they're not with you physically, they love you at the core. Please be patient and don't forget about the love we share. Mm, so you, something you've been waiting look at where it's falling to three of wands something you've been waiting for right for some of you that message is for those there all right let's see what else one more message here for crystal number three from their twin flame what would their twin flame like to say to them being in your presence makes me nervous Ooh, so Maybe it's that being from distance, like having that distance and then coming back around. They feel a little bit off sometimes. And that might just be for some of you. Um, they might feel like, you know, after me being so distant, they come to you and you're so strong and powerful that you, they kind of feel almost like an intimidation, but it's not your fault. It's okay. It's just them feeling like, a little bit nervous that maybe in the past they didn't show up for you the way they wanted to and um 
now they're unsure like if you're going to accept them okay and that might just be for some of you okay but the message definitely coming through for someone so all right crystal number three well that is what i have for you for today i really hope that this reading was helpful please give it a like and remember to subscribe if you haven't already have a wonderful day and i will see you in the next reading